Hi everyone, this is Bethany, Be A Crafty Girl, and I had a haul come in from iCopic.com, and I uh, found out about this website uh, through someone else on YouTube, and her channel is uh, Scrappy Hour 09. So if you're watching, thank you very much, because they have the gorgeous stamps, and I have one right here. And uh, so I went over there to see what they had, and they had a couple things at a really great price, and then a couple things that I had not seen available in the states before either and not only that their shipping was super fast because I ordered this Wednesday night like late like 10 o'clock and it came today which is Friday so crazy super fast shipping and uh, they had a lot of cool stuff on their site they don't have like a ton of stuff but the stuff that they have is really neat so I will start showing. I got this cute Amy R set. Um, and I think CC Designs puts that out. Yes. And uh, it's called Magical Wishes. They're all sentiments and they're kind of fairy and princessy. And I just think they're cute. This one says, Cinderella is proof that a new pair of shoes can change your life. I thought that was cute. And then Prince Charming, mine took the wrong turn, got lost, and is too stubborn to ask for directions. So I just thought that was cute. And then there's a couple fairy ones, and then there's some other ones, like Smile and Best Friends. I just thought they were super cute, and I have some fairy stamps that I'll go well with. And then they had these Milton and Company stamps, and that they're by the company Wild Rose Studio. They're in the UK. So there's their actual website. But uh, icopic.com is, is in the States, so you don't have to order out of the country. But they have these very cute Melton and Company, and they actually have paper that matches with them too. Super cute. And I only got a couple. There's a whole bunch. And they're clear stamps. This one is called uh, Melton and Sunflower. And I thought these were too cute to pass up. And the thing is, is I've never really been a cutesy, cutesy person. And now all of a sudden I'm getting all these stamps and I just, I can't say no. They're so cute. So I got Milton with Sunflower. And they're a pretty good size too. I got, this one is Milton with Teddy. And that's adorable because it's a teddy bear holding a, a teddy bear. Too cute. And then I got Milton with Poinsettia, Point, Poinsettia. Super cute. And then this one is Winter Millie. And I think she's holding Poinsettias too. It's a Christmassy type thing. And then this one is Milton with Lily. And I think the selling point on these two is that you get to see them colored. Like when you don't get to see stamps colored, like when it's just the black and white image, they're still cute, but like because you get to see it colored in, I think it makes it even more irresistible. And then I only got two, three of the flower ones. I got the poinsettia and the lily and the sunflower because I'm from Kansas gotta have sunflower one. but there was like other flower ones too like a poppy and a tulip very cute and then I did get one gorgeous stamp and this is the clear stamp this is the first clear one I have had the others were rubber super cute and this one is called my own universe I like that a lot. I like her shoes in the crown. And then I thought I could use my new, the, the sentiments, like some of the princess ones on that one too. And then I got a Copic Multiliner, the um, brush medium. And it is a brush tip with ink that is uh, waterproof and Copic proof and the reason I got that I got this pen was because when I fussy cut I ink the edge after I fussy cut so that it's not white anymore and 
I, I learned that from Arlene, who is Butterfly Kisses on uh, YouTube. And it really, not only does it finish it off, like if you're not super great at fussy cutting, like if you edge it with the black marker afterwards, it's like perfect. Like no one can tell any little mistakes that you made. It's awesome. So when I fussy cut, I do the black marker all the way around. And what I was using was a Sharpie and the Sharpie was actually bleeding into where I'd colored and kind of making it look a little strange. So I got this one in hopes cause this is what she was using and it's Copic proof. And so you could even edge it before you color it or whatever. But that's why I, I got this pen and it's going to be great for getting into the little tiny spaces too with the tip. So that's why I picked that up. And they have a ton of Copic stuff. Well, and of course, because it's called iCopic.com. But they had, like, Copic stuff I didn't even know existed. <laughs> and then uh, I got the... They have a whole bunch of Prima stuff. I got the North Country collection. And 6x6 six six from Prima. And this is a Christmas collection. I saw this on someone else's haul, and I don't... I don't remember who it was, but it was super cute, so I picked that up. Some trees, and I like Prima pads because you get three of each. Some, like, little journaling spots so you can cut out. Borders. I just think it's really nice. And it'll be cute for winter cards or Christmas cards. That one's probably my favorite. And a deer. Excuse me. And uh, this is my second Prima paper ever. Oh, I like that too. That's kind of fun. Oh, and then a green. With a border. So I thought that was kind of fun. So that's my haul for mycopic.com. Thank you, Scrappy Hour 09. If you're watching and letting us know that they had some thing, some companies from the UK available in the States. And thank you everyone for watching. Oh, and uh, I did have a request. To, um, I asked if people wanted to see like colored pencil coloring or try art marker coloring. And, and I had some people interested. So I'm going to try maybe this weekend to do that. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. So um, I'm going to try anyway. So thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of the day. Bye.